Well, good day, everybody. This is Joe. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, it's New Year's Eve day. Probably by the time you see this video, it's going to be uh, the 1st of January 2020. But I wanted to do a little video about the past year, the year 2019. And it's been an interesting year around the world in the United States. But more specifically, in my local circle of typewriter aficionados here in Albuquerque, we've had an interesting year indeed. So a few years ago, I think it was maybe 2016 or 2017, I started conducting a semi-annual public typewriter gathering in Albuquerque. The first one was held indoors at the Nexus Brewery, and since then we have conducted them outdoors on the breezeway in front of Penny Smith's paper, so we call them type outs. But I wanted to start forming a more dedicated typewriter group in Albuquerque that meets more often than twice a year. And so we started our fledgling little Albuquerque Typewriter Society. And really, it started back in the summer of 2018 when Kevin Kittle and I were meeting almost, almost every week on his front porch in the summer months with our typewriters and just having a good time talking and typing and fellowshipping and tinkering and all that. And it kind of snowballed there. We developed our own little culture and we developed a logo and then we sort of more formally organized this little group as organized as it, as it is. So without any further ado, Kevin and I met yesterday evening in the rec room up in his house in the North Valley of Albuquerque, and we shot a little bit of video. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. It's almost the end of 2019. Are you guys glad that this year is almost done? Well, there's been some ups and downs in the world certainly this year, but we've had a good year here in Albuquerque as far as the Albuquerque Typewriter Society. I'm over at Kevin Kittle's house and we're up in his rec room. It's a cold winter night outside uh, in Albuquerque, but it's nice and toasty here. We have our typewriters, we have snacks, and we're gonna have a good old time reflecting on the year that was 2019. Stay tuned. Well, so we were reminiscing about 2019 and how we started the Albuquerque Typewriter Society early this year, we believe it was around February, we got our first meetings together at the Rust is Gold coffee shop up in Northeast Albuquerque. And we did that for a few months and then we had it here at Kevin's house for a few times and then we went to the Albuquerque Press Club during the warm summer months. And it was a very fun time. Uh, a lot of members that started coming regularly, we got to know them and formed relationships, friendships with them, and it's been real valuable. And Joe asked me sort of like a writing prompt, <laughs> what I, my fond recollections. I think one of the things like almost any organization that I've been in is the, uh, is the people. Yeah. And we end up meeting a lot of nice people because you start out with a common interest and then you get to know them as you uh, see them more often and find out uh, things that you didn't have in common, but then you, you, you get to like them and everybody has their input. I think that's one of the things that really is nice about it. Yeah. And uh, I think with, with the typewriters, it's kind of neat because, you know, having been in a uh, car club for a long time, which is a lot of fun, um, but your common interest, your, your scope is a little more narrowed. And you would think that with a typewriter that the scope would be even more narrowed, but it's not because the typewriter has this wonderful uh, ability to be anything. You can type and write anything. So since our focus is not strictly on typewriters, but it's typewriters and writing, mm -hmm. that you know it just expands all that. So then we get on all kinds of topics and discussion and yeah. how to do things and how to fix things on the typewriters and stuff like that. So they, yeah, that's the fond recollection there. Uh, one of the things that we talked about and uh, really got involved with a lot at, at some of the typewriter uh, society meetings was repairing and tinkering with a whole variety of typewriters. We would have people that join the society and they show up and say, here I have this typewriter, I want it to work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, they want to get involved and then and they actually do get involved. Yeah. And then so we ended up, um, uh, Joe and Bill and I and as a whole and then William also. And, uh, tinkering with the typewriters, fixing them, and 
figuring out what we can do, see if we have figured and coming up with creative solutions to uh, fixing things that don't have parts because typewriters for the most part don't have parts and we don't have enough parts machines yet yeah. to be able to fix them. And we don't always bring the right tools. And we don't always bring the right tools and so we have to make do and put it together and all that stuff. So we end up fixing a lot of typewriters and that's kind of neat and you get these things working again and yeah. stuff like that and then uh, people actually start writing with them and yeah. typing. You know, they, they aren't going to be just fixed and sit on a shelf and an object of art. You know, yeah. they, they're actually being used. So that's a lot of fun. Yeah. So one of our goals in the society this year has been to not only equip and supply people with the tools of writing by typewriter, tinkering with typewriters and collecting them and talking about collecting them and all that. But our goals have also been to enable people to be creative with typewriters to actually write. And we haven't been uh, quite as successful in fostering people's creative abilities yet, but we're going forward into 2020, we're going to hoping to be able to you know, have a more concerted kind of a writing program every meeting. And uh, one of the things that Kevin, though, brought here in tonight's meeting is a couple books about writing, and he was just reading to me a quote that I thought was very apropos. Well, it just says the, uh, one of the things about trying to write, and I have a difficulty of being a writer, uh, a joke that Joe and I have is that... Um, because he's quite prolific, and he can sit here and type when we get together and uh, write. Uh, and so we call him a uh, hemophiliac as a writer, because when you write, you bleed. Just sit down and bleed, as Hemingway said, paraphrasing. And for me, I'm the opposite of Joe. I'm not a hemophiliac. I'm a supercoagulator. <laughs> it just I, it starts to bleed, and then it just stops, and I have a hard <laughs> time doing it. So. And then also what they say about writing to you know uh, is that to be a writer, you need to read a lot, and that's true. And you read, and you learn how story structure is, and if you read a lot, it really helps you be a writer. And one thing I've also found, and we did this on one of the typing sounds, is that you type somebody else's writing. You actually copy it, and you get a feel. The physical action, just like if you were to handwrite it, of actually typing somebody else's work, it's not that you're trying to pass it off as your own, you're just getting a feel, but that physical action coming through your hand, brain and going into your hands and out really helps um, to learn uh, to write. In this uh, there, my wife Andrea, she's been really helpful, so she gave me a uh, Christmas present of trying to help me become a writer, and one of these was books from Costco, there you go. Yeah. You get them, you know, and they have all kinds of interesting books, and this one's called Beanie Writer. And it, this one's basically quotes from authors about writing, and some of them are real helpful. Uh, the ones that are not helpful for me are the ones that are, uh, say, well, ever since I was a two-year-old, I wanted to write. Well, <laughs> that's a little extreme on my end. Yeah. I'm, I'm not quite like that. I'm more of a latecomer when it comes to that. But this one here is uh, from a, a quote from Hilary Mantel, and it's, it's like what we want to do. And I think this is a, a good quote of uh, what one needs to be as a writer. So here's the quote. It's the, the most helpful quality a writer can cultivate is self-confidence, arrogance if you can manage it. You write to impose yourself on the world, and you have to believe in your own ability when the world shows no sign of agreeing with you. And so that's mm -hmm. really important. And it goes on in the quote, and then it ends with, you have to, even if you're unpublished, you have to still say to yourself, I am a writer. You should define yourself as such. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really good. important. That's good. Mm -hmm. So one of the challenges to starting a society like this is the whole aspect of the social uh, communication part of it. So we have a mailing list. We have a... Uh, Facebook page. It's really just a kind of a placeholder for announcing our meetings. Um, and we did come up with a little logo. Kevin really come up with this logo for the our Albuquerque typeouts. We've been doing these typeouts twice a year at Penny Smith's Paper. And also, we come up with this. This is one of our first creative things we did when it was just him and I meeting on his porch. But this uh, Albuquerque Typewriter Society logo that we created that uses just a typewriter font and a, a bicolor ribbon and that's pretty cool we like that so that's our logo and uh, we are equipped to type that with any typewriter and that's fun but uh, I, I think that 
the communication aspect of it, we still need to grow and and be a little bit more savvy about. We're literate in social media, but we're not really uh, motivated <laughs> yeah. to to <laughs> to do any more with it. And this reminds me, by the way, that just this week, uh, Ted Monk posted a a video on his YouTube channel that he is starting uh, to do typewriter videos now and that's gonna be fun and I hope we can somehow work our typewriter society here in Albuquerque with Ted Monk over in Arizona maybe we can do some some kind of social collaboration there that would be fun so as I indicated earlier uh, we started out with our group being more focused on socialization and then some of the guys who are more adept at tinkering with typewriters, we would be tinkering with people's typewriters when they bring them to the meeting. And that's kind of just a natural thing. Somebody brings a typewriter, well, I just got this, it's not working right, can you take a look at it? And so we would end up bringing tools to every meeting, and which is a great thing to do, right? Help people out. And we've actually done a number of serious repairs to some of the members' typewriters, which is a great thing to do. But part of the reason why we call ourselves the Albuquerque Type writer society is because we see our vision as not only be focused on the machine of the typewriter as a gadget but on really the craft of writing writing that's enabled by the mechanical printing of the typewriter and so going forward in 2020 we really want to start focusing more on the craft of writing and I'm looking forward to working with the members, working with certain aids, like some of the books that we mentioned earlier, that can give us writing prompts. And also, we really would like to tie into some local writers, uh, poets, and teachers who are more adept at writing instruction, and uh, maybe tie them into our group and see what we can do. And also, more of an outreach. Is there something we can do as a group to bring uh, the craft of writing and the joy of typewriters to other people? Like, for instance, shut-in people or seniors who might remember typewriters from an earlier age and might look upon them very fondly and might have a lot of fun with them. So there's a lot of things we could be doing with our group and we hope to expand it and go forward. But I really want to thank all the members of our fledgling Albuquerque Typewriter Society and I especially want to thank my pal Kevin Kittle for all the support that he's lent us uh, in this endeavor and also thank you guys for your viewership and your comments especially and I appreciate you and going forward into 2020 stay creative and have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye for now.